Medieval Dynasty, Oxbow Map. Our goal is to survive the winter, get some chickens, hunt a Vicent, and make some money. We're going to do some questing as well so that we can get our reputation a little higher so that we can invite more villagers. Right now, we have three villagers with our reputation at 347, so we need 53 more dynasty reputation to be able to add a villager. These two villagers have been talking about getting married, so hopefully that happens soon. That makes the town happy. We've got our farm here. We've got rye, and we've got wheat planted for the winter, and we have a couple extra rows that we're, we've fertilized and plowed that are ready for some more crops that we'll be planting in springtime. I will say that wheat is a really good way to make money. Once you have wheat, show you our newest building. We got our barn here and use the threshing floor and then the Karen, Quern, I don't know, Quern, Kern, to turn it into flour. And you can sell flour for quite a bit. So that's a good way to make money. We're also working on another hunting lodge. So we're, we're doing some more expanding. We got our storage resource storage which you can keep your firewood there when you have multiple houses you want storage food storage and your resource storage we've got both of those now food storage and you can put all your food in there so that all the townsfolk you don't have to put it in their individual houses this helps a lot you just drop your food off in here you got a lot of food and you put your firewood in the other one all right it is winter time our dude hasn't gotten cold yet. We did upgrade his skills to be able to survive the cold. Insensitive, six degrees Celsius, more temperature tolerance. We have quite a bit of money, so I think we are going to buy some fur clothes for him. Man, I'm surprised he's not getting cold at all. All right, heading back to Piastovia. All right, where's the uh, where's the person that sells the fur? There she is. There we go. So you've got fur boots, fur caplet, fur hood, capelet. All right, we're going to get a hat as well. Yeah, the fur hood's a lot better than the capelet. All right, so we'll sell that. That was a waste of money. All right, we're going with a regular hat, I think. So we got our hat. All right, this should do for now. All right, so we got our, we got some warmer clothes. We got our hat, but now we're pretty broke. So we gotta go make some money. I like using just a wooden crossbow. So how many, see how many wooden bolts we have. We have 40 wooden bolts. That should be enough for some Vicent hunting. So we'll head out, show you on the map where they're at. You can switch over to wild animals and you can see this little bison buffalo looking thing right here. If you've spotted an animal of a particular type in a particular area they'll start showing up on your map under the filter wild animals and then you can mark it and head straight there Vincent's a good way to make money they give you a ton of meat and they give you leather as well that you can turn into simple bags and make a lot of money that way as well i'm going to show you how i like to hunt them with just a wooden crossbow. I like using the wooden crossbow because it's cheap. I have, I believe I have two of them. Yeah, we'll use the one that has more durability. And the wooden bolts are cheap as well, but it does take quite a few. I like to load up my crossbow first, but it does take quite a few bolts to take down a Vicent. Fortunately, they're not super fast, so you can kind of circle around them. But I have run into times where several of them will attack me at once. It's no good. You don't want that. You don't want three Vicent charging at you all at the same time. All right. Coming up. I think we'll see some right over this ridge here. Uh-oh. Oh, we got a wolf. Is he running away? Don't come at me, man. Be coming at me. Uh, more?
Oh, he's going after the rabbit. Look at this guy. Took him out. He was howling for his buddies. I can't have that while I'm hunting. All right. Let's get our bolt back. And, uh... Uh-oh. Yeah, that's the dangerous thing about this spot. Is, uh, there are definitely some wolves around here. Let's, uh, let's circle around this way. It's a little safer if you come from this side. There he is. Don't do it, man. Don't come at me. All right, I've had enough of these wolves. I'm trying to get... We got bigger fish to fry. We got some vicin. All right, six bolts might not be enough. So we want to make sure we have enough bolts armed. And when you are hunting these, you kind of want to pull them away from the other ones. All right, am I getting charged? Yeah, you gotta be careful. You don't wanna pull too many of these. Wanna hit him right in the head if you can, but he's turning around. All right, I'll get him to charge at me. If you get him to charge at you, more likely to hit him in the head. All right, they get close. You can kinda dodge out of the way. I don't know how to dodge. He's coming at me. I hear him. All right, where's it? There he is. All right, there he goes. He's starting to bleed out. Hit him again. I want him to come this way. There we go. Get away from the other one. And he's down. You want to take him out far enough away from his buddies so that you can skin him. All right. And just one Vincent can weigh you down a little bit because you get a lot of meat and you get a lot of leather as well. Now we've got 90 meat now, 30 leather, and you can turn these leather into small bags and the meat. We turn into pottage, you sell all that, and then you're rich again. So now we're gonna head back to our town, which is right here, pretty close by to where the hunting is. But yeah, you only gotta take down one of these guys and you get tons of resources. And our town's just right over here. So we've got a lot of meat, so we'll put that there. Get a Vincent skull, which you can sell for quite a bit too. So we've been doing some farming, so we have cabbage and carrots and you can turn that into pottage and stew we have a ton of cabbage we'll take our cabbage over to our kitchen and we need wooden bowls as well we take our meat our wooden bowls our cabbage and make some pottage with the carrots you can make a stew the pottage actually sells for more than the stew does so i generally like to do that so now we're out of meat we're out of wooden bowls so we're going to put our extra cabbage back in the chest. But now we've got 30 of these we can take to town and sell. Make a little bit of money. And you also, making the pottage levels up your cooking, which is good as well. Do we have any in here? We've got some extra meat that our hunters gather. And we can turn this into pottage as well. When your food rots, you can turn it into fertilizer. But yeah, that's... Uh, that's how we like to make a little bit of money. Grab our leather and turn our leather into simple bags. So we're gonna sell our simple bags and our pottage and make that money. All right, let's head to town. All right, we are back to Piastovia, Unislava. All right, she's got 1,300 in cash. We're gonna try and sell pottage. We get 375 silver just for, you know, taking that meat. 
and then simple bags, another 180. So yeah, we kill one Vicent and we get all that. It's well worth it. All right, I think we're good there. All right, so we made some money. We're rich again, 850 currency units. Now we're gonna get ourselves some chickens. I heard that they are somewhere around here in Yauki. So we got a little bit of a trek. All right, let's go get ourselves some chickens. Uh, we gotta go there anyways for a quest. So uh, yeah, this works out. Hopefully that quest gets our reputation up. But yeah, we're gonna hoof it. All right, we do have a bridge. We got a crossbow and we got our we got our cudgel just in case we run into any trouble along the way. Man, this is a long run. The horse is really expensive, so it's going to be a while. Okay, so I'm going to stay to the left here. Skowki. There we go. All right, we're on the right track. We're going to get us some chickens. I hope we have enough for chick. Oh, actually, I think the chickens might be free. So hopefully we're not running all this way for nothing. All right, still on the right track. There's the town. Where you at, man? I'm trying to get this quest done. There you are. All right, he said something about chickens. Where's the chickens at? All right, I think I'm just gonna buy one. All right, buy a rooster. Yeah, they're not that expensive. All right, here we go. Should I buy a baby one? I'll buy a baby one. Man, how many should I buy? All right, we're rich. We're just gonna buy them all. All right, there we go. Man, it's getting late. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to get back quick. All right, so there we go. We bought some chickens. All right, we're getting a ride. We're gonna run back to our village. How much money do we have left? All right, we're still, uh, yeah, we're broke. <laughs> we're totally broke. But we're warm. We got some chickens. We're going to take a look at our chickens. And here, we got a rooster. Got some hen, rooster. And they've got some animal feed, but we'll want to get them some more. You want to make sure they have animal feed in their trough so they don't run away. And they'll start, uh, they'll start producing for us. Ah, oh, we need to assign a worker here, too. All right, so let's assign a worker. We'll make some eggs. A lot of eggs. And some feathers. All right, perfect. All right, so we're all set for today. I think it's time for bed. All right, now we're going to do a little questing so we can get another villager. All right, we got to go inspect the notice board, and that is going to give us a big boost to our dynasty reputation. And then we can invite another villager. Oh, man, weather's not great out today. Definitely need some more money, though. I think we might have to do some more hunting. All right, we can put that away. We don't have to have a torch out all the time in the winter because we got some warm clothes. That helps a lot. Need to warm up, so it's getting a little colder out. But it's a lot easier to warm up now that we've got these, these fur clothes. Let's see how long it takes. Yeah, it takes a lot longer for you to start getting cold now, which, which is nice. Okay. Talk to Swibora. Oh, man, that's a long run. I think we will, uh, we will do that one, though. All right, let's go. We need the money, and we need the reputation. So now we're going to need to go to... Australia. We're gonna stop by our uh, our house and get some food first. Actually, yeah, I think we can make it. Oh, we do need. Hmm, everyone seems fine. Uh oh. All right. Uh oh. Run! <laughs> I don't know if I can take two of them. We're running. Took down one wolf. Man, a lot of wolves around here. All right, there it is. We're almost there. Oh, we got some villagers here. All right, who is it? Swaybora. 
Okay, look around and find the shears. Okay. Now, where are they? Ah, here we go. What? Oh, man. You gotta be kidding me. So now I gotta deliver these all the way back to Piastopia. Alright, let's see if we can find a... Oh, we're out of money. Oh, we gotta run. Alright. Yeah, we gotta run all the way back. Alright. Got our cudgel, just in case we run into any more trouble. Alright. Piastopia this way. Time to save. Okay, we're almost there. Nope. I'm so cold. Nope. Here we go. Alright, there we go. Alright, so that quest gives you 300 dynasty reputation. So now we could technically, we have four residents. We could get two more, but we're going to, we're going to invite one more. We only have room. We gotta build more houses, so we're gonna invite one more. And it's gotta be a dude. Alright, Norbert. You got a sick haircut. You're in. We've got Norbert. Gotta give him a house and a job. And workplace. We're gonna have him work. For now, we'll put him at the only place we have available really is a herbalist hut. Even though he can't do anything there now. We gotta finish up building our hunt our second hunting lodge and then we'll put them there but for now everybody needs some firewood it looks like so we're gonna head back and uh give everyone some firewood actually you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have him work at the woodshed actually he does better at the hunting lodge oh yeah this is better okay he actually sucks at the woodshed who's good at the okay dobby i'm gonna put her at the woodshed all right, there we go. And then we're going to put him at the hen house. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, you want to put each of them. You can see here what they're best at. If they have a three for a specific job, you want to put them at that job. So right now, it looks like we have them all at an ideal place for them. It makes them happier and they're a lot more productive as well. All right, we got to head back to town to take care of our villagers. But yeah, this is, uh, we're doing pretty good this winter. Our goal was to thrive during the winter. Our town is growing. We've got better clothes, got some quests done, and uh, our reputation has grown. So this has been pretty successful winter so far.